First introduced to the concept of the health-based allocation model in 2006, HBAM. This was supposed to be a new way of ensuring fair access to health funding across Ontario. This year, residents in Thornhill and across the 905 received about $700 per capita in hospital funding. However, everywhere else in Ontario, the figure was well above $900. Oh, Mr. Speaker, the word fair is the last word that 905ers would use to describe the delivery of these services to them. Shameful. Will the health minister commit to end this practice of health care discrimination and guarantee for residents of the 905 that funding will be equalized under today's budget and their families treated equally to those across Ontario from this day forward? Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I think it's interesting that, for the purposes of, the, of his question, the honourable member has used a community that has no hospital as the foundation for some hospital comparator. We're going to address that, Mr. Speaker, by our commitment to build a hospital and to put beds in the uh, Vaughan community. I can confirm that uh, HBAM, uh, health-based allocation model, is a more sophisticated way of funding. And that's why Central Local Health Integration Network received the largest share of resources from our aging at home strategy. So on a go-forward basis, yes, Mr. Speaker, I can commit to the honourable member uh, to ensure that uh, resources are allocated in such a fashion and consistent as well with the promises that we made to the people in the 905 in the election campaign just passed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Great. Mr. Speaker, the minister's answer is, is not quite good enough. Listening to the minister's double talk, a 905 resident can justifiably ask, what makes me different from other Ontarians? 905 residents certainly don't pay any less tax. The 905 is Ontario's highest growth environment. However, as with infrastructure and transit funding, this government is content to shortchange the 905 when it comes to health care dollars. The truth is the McGuinty government is content to allow the quality of life for Ontarians in the 905 and elsewhere to deteriorate. Mr. Speaker, will the health minister commit to 905 residents here and now that they will immediately receive equal treatment and equal funding for health services, keep the McGuinty government's 2007 election promise, and fully deploy the health-based allocation model announced in 2006, or does he confirm that his plan is to let the 905 continue to languish? Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The first thing that I offer to the people of the 905 is that we will not perpetuate a $3 billion on health care cut that they were promising in the election campaign. Campaign. Further, Mr. Speaker, in the, presence, in the presence of the mayor of Mississauga, I'm very pleased to acknowledge capital redevelopment at Credit Valley and construction underway as we speak at Trillium Hospital, construction underway at York Central Hospital, construction underway at South Lake Hospital, construction soon to be underway in Markham and in Oakville, Mr. Speaker, all across the landscape of the 905 and the high growth parts of the province of Ontario is evidence of the largest single renewal of hospital capital infrastructure in the history of our great promise, a credit to our Premier and in partnership with the Minister of Public Infrastructure Renewal. The people of the 905 know that the surest way to get the health care that they need is not to elect very— Thank you. New question, the member from Timmins, James Bay.